It certainly is, Peter Duncan. Uh, just checking everything's working. We've got the mic working. It's biggling around the screen. I think I can see myself on that one. How the devil is everybody? Uh, I'm just going... <laughs> <laughs> I'll answer that in a minute. I don't know if uh, Paul Jordan is watching at the moment. Mitochondrial journey. Um, I'm guessing you must have got back in time. Okay, uh, I'm going to be a bit unprofessional tonight. I've got my phone on and it's going to be uh, making noises. I thought I'd just let you know that now. Hello, Brian over on Facebook and I will get to chat in a minute. Uh, I want to tell you about my day today and then you'll explain where I am at the moment. So uh, I took Mrs. World away to work at eight o'clock this morning and then I travelled from here all the way to Bradford, which is about a three hour drive. And I got to meet uh, the wonderful Keith and Adele. And I also got to meet Sonia and Paul Ryder in chat there, uh, Cosmic Scow Models. And I did some uh, footage today of Cosmic Scow Models. Let me just tease you with some of that footage. Look, we did this. And I did this. And finally, I did this. Um. See, so just showing some of the back room and area. There's going to be a full video of that. And I'm hoping to get that out of the weekend. Absolutely brilliant time. I mean, I was only there for about an hour and a half, I think, because I had to come back to pick Mrs. Oil away up. So that was a three-hour drive back from Bradford as well. Now, if anyone's using the A1 at the moment, and you need to go north of Doncaster to a place called Barnsdale Bar, they're doing roadworks there. They've been doing roadworks for the last year, and it's a living nightmare to go through. So in the end, I went through Pontefract to get home. So uh, a bit fun. But um, that's where my day, I had a brilliant day. I have to say, absolutely brilliant day. Paul, great seeing you again. Mike sounds a bit distant and roomy, really. Why is that? Why is that? I might, I might click over. Let me click my mic over. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by for action. Stand by. It's oh, now that's fallen down. Oh, God, everything's going wrong. <laughs> Stand by. Wait one second. Let me plug my mic in. It's because uh, my computer's making a right racket at the moment. So if I change that to now on test, 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 test. I'm now on this mic. Oh, the mic sounds fine, Jim. Well, well, we'll stay on this mic. We might as well stay on this one now. Let's just make sure we're on. Cool. Does that sound any better? I'm hoping it does. But uh, I can get rid of this one now. Stand by. Let me just turn that one off. You just printed a Stingray model. Oh, wicked. Sounds okay. Well, look, I'm on the I'm on the main mic now, so uh, that's good. Um, anyway, so uh, had a brilliant day, brilliant day at uh, Cosmic Scale Models, and I left there around about quarter to quarter to one. And uh, Mrs. Rolled away, and I'm I think she's thinking that I shouldn't have streamed tonight. And I'll be honest with you, I was thinking that I should really not stream tonight uh, because I actually got a phone call while I was sitting outside. Paul, you won't know this because I haven't spoke to you. I got a phone call uh, while I was outside. Uh, today, my son was on a trip with the school to Chessington World of Adventures. So he's been having fun at Chessington going on all the rides. But unfortunately, unlike me, like me, should I say, unlike me, he suffers with migraines and he suffers with the sort of migraines that I get, which you go completely blind. Sometimes your ear plays up. Sometimes you go numb. And it's kind of like having a stroke, believe it or not. But they call them uh, hemiplegic migraines, something like that. Well, he had one of them. And unfortunately, he was uh, taken to hospital in an ambulance. So uh, being in Chessington, he lives in Essex. Being in Chessington, they took him to Epsom Hospital. So his mum had to travel from Essex to Epsom to be with him. So uh, that's been worrying all afternoon. Um, I got text earlier on that they have been discharged and they're on the way back now, which is why I've got my phone on. And then tonight, um, <laughs> this is this is just my day. Um, I was waiting for mitochondrial journey to come, which is Paul. Um, he's come down from the Midlands to pick up the Millennium Vulcan. You see the Millennium Vulcan's gone. Um, and when he got here, the heavens opened. It was hail, sleet, snow and all that. I haven't done a weather thing today, but the weather was absolutely terrible. Now, we went into the house because I'd already put the Millennium Vulcan in the house and all the rain stopped. It all stopped. We had a good chat and all of that. Every time we opened that back door and like Paul came into the workshop as well to have a look around, 
it, the heavens opened again. It just chucked it down. It's like I'm constantly under a, a, a grey cloud here. Now, the good thing is Paul took the um, not only the Millennium Falcon, but he's taken the beat-up, broken X-Wing I had in the fountain because I probably was going to chuck that. In. So he, the X-Wing's gone now as well. I don't know what he's going to do with it, but uh, he's good. So, Paul, if you're watching, it was great meeting you too. After Paul left, I had a phone call from my brother to let him know my mum's now been rushed to hospital. So she's in a hospital in an ambulance now. So I've got two people in the family in hospital. <laughs> so don't know what's happening with my mum. And I believe that my son is on his way home. So uh, that's why I said things are a little bit crazy here at the moment. But uh, I won't let you down again. I've already missed two streams this year, I think, so far from illness. So I'm not I'm not letting you down tonight. So uh, I am. My monologue's dragging on a little bit tonight, but uh, today, but... Uh, that's that. Now, let me think what I've got to tell you. First off, um, Easter's coming. Now, on Sunday, if you don't know in the UK, our clocks go forward by an hour, which means you folks in the US, it does mean that we are, we'll are we'll be back to five hours behind if you're on Eastern time. If you're on Pacific time, we'll be nine hours behind. You'll be nine hours. So it goes back to normal on Sunday morning at two o'clock. Uh, but because it's Easter, I don't know if anyone's seen this during the rounds on, uh, on X formerly known as Twitter or Facebook. Uh, this is uh, this is the Ripley version of Happy Easter, which I think is brilliant. Look, check this out. <laughs> so you've got the power loader and the queen with a load of Cadbury's cream eggs. <laughs> I think that's a brilliant picture. See, that makes me happy. I've got, that's my happy place. Happy place is seeing aliens covered with uh, cream eggs. That's what we need. Um, also, uh, yesterday, obviously, we started the Sprueverse Challenge, where we are building the Stanart's Mechanical Shark. And uh, you know what I'm like for a QR code. If you do want to get hold of this and build it with us, which you'll be able to do because we're actually handing in our homework, if you like, on uh, July the 4th, uh, you can head to the Stanart's website. And there's the link there. And it's also in chat, you'll find. You can scan that on the screen. You'll be able to get that for yourself. Bear in mind, there may be a lead time on this now, because I'm sure a load of people have now ordered that to uh, follow along with us. So uh, that's that one. Um, let me just look down the list. I'm sure there's something else I meant to tell you. You remember I uh, on that video with uh, Phil and Lou, I was showing you some of the stuff that I'd made, and I quickly showed the pier. Believe it or not, I've finished the pier. <laughs> I've finished it. It's all painted and ready to go. I can't show it you now, though, but uh, it looks really good. I'm really happy with some of the uh, techniques I've been using. I've been using a lot of youtube to, to get some techniques about how things are happening so uh so that's that uh and the other thing is do you remember last week i was talking about the folks over at 3d fig labs now they're based in the uh, yucatan um is it merida is that the place merida uh brilliant designs for uh 3d products now let me just show you their instagram page which i'm sharing here and the reason i love these so much is i mean look at some of these models here but uh, look, you've got the the crystal from Superman. They've got a lot of Superman things that I like here. Uh, but look, they've got the full set here, including what I was after, which was this Krypton Escape Pod. Now, that Krypton Escape Pod, uh, if I can bring this up, uh, stand by. Uh, how do I do this? <laughs> Try to think it. Stand by, that's me. Uh it's not going to let me bring it up. I don't think. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look, check this out. Look, I put it on my, uh, on my, um, what's this? This is my kitty slicer, just so you can see some of these parts. Get a clear resin. This is going to look pretty cool, I reckon. I absolutely love that. So if I bring that one back up there, and I think I can close that one down now. Um, if you want to check out them, they, it's not just Superman stuff that they do over there. Uh, let me see what else they've got. Hang on, stand by. Trying to share screens, I'm telling you. I'm I, I'm on restream tonight, so I'm trying to figure this all out. Uh, but like they've got they've got everything. Look, best bin. They've got Cloud City here. Uh, let's bring that up. Just some of the designs they've been doing for that. Some of the robots. Look, moisture evaporators, land speeder. Some of this stuff you've seen on Phil Siegel's uh, channel at Sprueverse. Pretty cool stuff, isn't it? Look, check that out. But these are 3D Fig Labs. So if you wanted to check them out, then guess what? <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. I've got some uh, I've got some codes for you. So this code here is their Instagram page. And that will take you to all the pictures that I've just looked at and showed you what they've got there. They also have a Patreon. And that's the Patreon link there. 
where they do exclusive stuff for the patrons on there. And then if you want to see the general stuff that they've got on CG Trader, that's here. And that's where a lot of their models go to download that. But I had to get that Superman model. I didn't even know it exists until Phil mentioned it. And the funny thing is, Phil had mentioned 3D Fig Labs to me before, but uh, I didn't I didn't put two and two together. So uh, absolutely brilliant. What was that? We've got some really bad wind here as well. So <laughs> it's like I really should have taken the stone today, Chris. But uh, I didn't get a chance, unfortunately. As you say, I came in and dealt with all of this stuff and get a live stream ready because I think I got in at five o'clock. Uh, Paul turned up at six. Mitochondrial Journey turned up at about six. Uh, then I had dinner and I've come straight on. So uh, it's been a long day. But you know what? Half of the day has been fun. The rest has been a little bit stressful. <laughs> but there you go. So that's my day. How you been? <laughs> See, I'll keep a smile on my face. Okay, I'm going to try and go back and catch up with chat because you know what I'm like. Love your shirt. This is my, this shirt here. Hang on a second. This is one of my oldest shirts, you know, and I still got these designs. I tried to include every robot that I can think of in here. So you've got Bo Bobo. This is in my store, by the way. I don't even know if I've got a link for my store up here. Let me have a check. I normally have links for everything. Um, no. Oh, yeah. If you, if you follow that link, that's all my links. You'll see my merch store on there. That's all got my Amazon links on there and stuff like that as well. Uh, but what we've got on here is, uh, look, we've got, let me try and get a bit higher. Bubo from Clash of the Titans, the two black hole robots, c 3 pr and R2-D2, Wally, um, Ed209, uh, Robbie, uh, no, that's the Lost in Space robot, um, a droid from, um, what do they call them? Probe droids, whatever. Uh, IG-88, um, Gort from Daily Earth Still, uh, Iron Giant there. Um, there goes Res Robbie. What else have we got? God. Uh, Optimus Prime. Uh, the little thing from... What's that little thing from? Was that from Treasure Island? I can't remember. It looks like the thing from Ulysses, actually, but no. Not sure. Terminator on there. we got a droid. There's loads. Look, BB-8. We got a uh, <laughs> bender. Oh, there's loads, but that's the robot shirt. That's on my links link site as well. So, uh, all cool. Let me put this back. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to sound very distant. <laughs> I did a bit more than that. Yeah, I did. I filmed about 25 minutes worth of stuff. So, uh, you'll love it. I, I do love the place. And the, wh what I like is that it's not just a model shop. I mean, it's a model shop, Cosmic Scout Models. This is uh, just outside Bradford. It's a shop that's dedicated to fantasy and sci fi. But they also make models there as well. And I don't mean build them. I mean make them to, to sell. So I got to see that whole backroom area, how the decals are done, how the laser cutting machine works, how the 3D printers work. It was a, it was a good insight in that, in that hour and a half I spent there. But uh, I'm glad I got there. Yeah, I bet you've been doing bridge work in Baltimore. That was crazy seeing the footage of that. Absolutely crazy. And, and it does make me wonder that the, the architects who designed that bridge... That, that bridge seemed to topple over far too easy for me. So I don't know if that's just the, the way the structure was done, but it's weird. Very strange. <coughs> but that's, uh, I, I did think first off that's going to stop. Sorry, I don't know that. Hello, Alexa's talking to me now. I did think that's going to stop a lot of trade coming to Baltimore, but that bridge doesn't really affect the docks, does it? It's basically for commuting across that bridge either side. And then I suppose lorries getting from the docks over that bridge living logistical nightmare because that's one of these things that are going to take an age to fix but uh who knows um you've got mail. i've got mail so you're going to hear things like that all, all night unfortunately now we know wayne has a keyboard i do it's a mechanical keyboard i like the tappy 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 keyboards uh check check one two i like this microphone i mean i've been using i took this one with me today but uh, it might be because I haven't set it up properly. I just plugged it straight back in as soon as I got back here. Uh, oh, Brett, you've finished your kit this evening. Uh, it's working well. Thanks for your videos. As with those, I might never have completed them working. No problems, Brett. As a matter of fact, just so you know, tomorrow I was going to do the Titanic. I'm going to try and get that done at the weekend because tomorrow I am going to do the Lancaster Part 13. Uh, and believe it or not, look, we've got one item in here. One item, just that. That's all you got in here. But there's a hell of a lot to do because we're basically putting the whole thing 
with a whole front end of all the parts that we've had together. So it's going to look like that at the end. And I believe Wayne told me last night, Wayne Brickles in chat there, Storm Gaming, that you did it last night or you did it Tuesday, uh, you did it on Wednesday. It was Wednesday. What day is it today? Thursday. And uh, Wayne said it was a bit fiddly. So uh, looking forward to, to doing that. You've got pack 15, Influence. See, I've got pack 16 of the Titanic to do. So I need to I need to get on with that. Did pack 22 of the Ecto that night and pack 23 on Wednesday. Wow. You finally caught up. You can just relax now and wait for more to come. Did anyone get, while I'm on this, for, let me think. It's Thursday today. So on Monday, I think even Sunday might have been day, I started getting emails saying all of my Diagostini collectibles releases are affected by logistical problems. And on Monday, all my fan home releases, Robocop, uh, everything, everything is affected by logistical problems and there's going to be delay in it. And then on Wednesday, I started getting emails saying, congratulations, your uh, your collection is now back in stock and uh, it's coming out to me. So in the space of like five days, I had, we, we were experiencing delays to it's on its way. Did anyone else get that? Weird. Sounds better than the James Bond video earlier this week. Yeah, you know what happened with the James Bond video? These are brilliant sound. Not so brilliant if you let one of the batteries run out. So what I did was um, these actually back up my voice. If a battery runs out, the main receiver battery runs out. It actually stores my voice on here so I don't lose anything. The trouble is I hadn't set this up to restore my voice. So I had to use the sound off my camcorders. That's why it sounded like I was in a fish tank. But uh, it was either that or me to do a complete voiceover. And I would have hashed that completely up. So, <laughs> But I'm human. I make mistakes. So I haven't done a microphone mistake in a long time, though. So uh, it's all good. Um, no problem, Ian. It's been it's been it's been been a bit of a crazy day. But uh, I mean, there's nothing I can do. That's why I'm live streaming tonight. But I'm sure. Um, actually, I have got. I think the text I've just got here is from Paul. Let me. Yeah. So weird. But uh, yeah, don't know what's going on there. No idea. Hello, Wayne. First time watching your stream. Glad to kids. Kids is okay. Yeah, he's okay. He does get these migraines. He had a normal migraine on Tuesday this week, but then he's had one of these hapa. I can't even pronounce it. Hapaplegic migraines. I I get them, but when I get a migraine, what tends to happen is I'll get the flashiness in the eye, and then chances are, if I'm going to have a bad one, I'll go completely blind. I can't see a thing. I can see light. That's about it. So I normally take my migraine tablet and just lie down, and the days are right off after that. Uh, sometimes though, I have had it where I had one really weird, but my little finger went numb and then it worked its way for all my fingers going numb, which is really weird. Then my tongue went numb, slurring my words. I've had some real funky stuff with migraines before, but, um, I'm guessing he's got my genes, unfortunately. So thank you, Ian. I don't know what's happening. She went to hospital about an hour and a bit ago, hour and a half. So I'm sure we'll find out crazy but can you imagine all of that happening in the in space of like two hours three hours mad uh no 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 no. i'd rather do this david i'd rather i'd rather be doing something than nothing because i'll just be pondering and thinking about it but yeah we'll be it's one of those days these these days the, the reason we have these days is so that we can identify the good days see and stay positive with it but no, today has been, apart from the last few hours, today's been a really good day. I really enjoyed myself getting out and going to Bradford. And you know what? As I said to Keith, it's really weird that you turn off that A1 road and I was heading towards Leeds, Halifax, Bradford that way. And you just know you're in Yorkshire. It's just the brick, the brick buildings, the signposts. It's really weird. It's like being in a Hovis advert. And then when uh, when I saw where Cosmic Scan Models is, because I, of course, I did my uh, recon first to see where it is. It looked like it was on a, on a, I didn't film it. Why didn't I film it? It looked like it was on an industrial estate and it is. But if you turn around, you've got the whole Yorkshire Moors right in front of you. It looks amazing. Hills, as far as the eye can see, it looked really amazing. And I thought, Keith has this view every day. Stupid me didn't film it. <laughs> Should have, I should have got that. I'm so interested in the shop, I completely forgot. But uh, there you go. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> when I know the, <laughs> exactly that feeling. Uh, I've had that with my family in and out of hospital. It's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. I mean, my mum's going into hospital anyway. Um, what day is it today? God, end of March. So in a couple of weeks for uh, one of these things called a... Cor 
Cora, 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 Cora version. Corona version. It's where they stop your heart, you know, they zap you to bring your heart back into rhythm. She's having that done. So, Cora version, something like that. But uh, we'll see. Hello, Wayne Watson. <laughs> How the devil are you? Um, and hello, Steve. How's it going? You enjoying yourself over there? Uh, not long to uh, Wonderfest now, you know. I've just booked up my airport lounge, and uh, we're just looking at the hotels. We want to stay in Heathrow the night before, but I'd rather stay in a hotel that's actually near well, on Terminal 3. And there's two. There's two hotels. Guess how much they charge a night? £230, the cheapest. I did find a place online where I can get it for £170 for a night, but it looks dodgy. <laughs> it looks dodgy. But, uh, yeah, the, the two hotels that are on site of Terminal 2 and 3 are uh, it's crazy. And the thing is that I would go off site, but the thing is that I'm, I'm arriving by train, so I'm actually going to be in the airport soon. And to get a cab to come to the airport and pay the charge that they have to pay to take me out of London, it's not worth it. So no problems, fell I like I, I like it. I like I like chatting with people. I like to meeting Paul today, showing him. Around. I, it's funny. Normally, when people come to the workshop, I will show them the, the workshop here and everything in that. And then I'll take them upstairs and show them all the one eight cars and stuff. I haven't got any one eight cars left. <laughs> this all they've all gone. The only model I kept, because I went, I really blitzed it, you know. The only model I kept, if anyone didn't know, I got rid of all the models last week. Thanks to Ian helping me out. Ian, uh, I'm forever in your debt. Thank you for sorting that out. It was very, it was stressing me. But every single model has gone except for my night rider. And I've still got like the Terminator, the um, Alien, and the uh, Optimus Prime. Look, look, did you see that? <laughs> that was a tease. Um, but yeah, every single model's gone. The Bismarck and the Leopard Tank's gone to my brother in law. I think, Will, you've got the Jack. And um, who's got the standby? Someone. You got it. James. James has got the Porsche, Porsche 917. Everything else has gone now. Pretty crazy, huh? All because we're moving bedrooms. And I realize with 30 models on the go, I really need to be a bit relentless to what I keep because um, I'd like to display models that I know that I really am fond of. And I'm very fond of the Night Rider. <laughs> Hello, Kenneth in Atlanta, Georgia. I'll be there in about oh, 97 days, Kenneth. Well, passing through anyway. I'm in Atlanta for three hours. You're, you're building your G1 Optimus Prime. What pack are you on, Kenneth? I'm waiting for pack 12. It hasn't turned up yet. Pack 12 is obviously the final one. Do you ever think they'll bring out a Space 99, 1999 Eagle kit? Well, there's plenty of kits to build like Airfit. You talked about like a part work model, though. Be interesting. I think licensing is a big thing for that as well, especially the Jerry Anson Foundation of trying to build stuff. But then Diagostini built Thunderbird 2. Matter of fact, Keith had a Thunderbird 2 from Diagostini in the shop. I did film that today as well. The one that I built. Uh, when are you going to be doing the next DB5, Pack 5? I actually got Pack 5 yesterday, Raymond. So I'm hoping to get onto that probably next week. I really am conscious that I need to do for a LaFerrari Pack 10, the Titanic, and I also need to do the Mercedes 300 SL. I'm, I'm behind on that. I even need to do Alien Pack 12, to be honest with you. But uh, I'm not looking forward to those spokes again. We've got to do another wheel, haven't we? Hi, Eric, over on Facebook. How the devil are you? From Bruce, Wisconsin. I'd need to... Uh, you're on your tablet, are you, Eric? I'd need to check my map. I, I couldn't even tell you where Wisconsin is. <laughs> Isn't Wisconsin around the Chicago area somewhere? It's, it's, in, it's in that little group of states, isn't it, up there? Is that where Wisconsin is? I don't know. Let me have a look. I need to really sort my American geography out. <laughs> So Minneapolis is there. Yeah, so you've got Michigan, Chicago. Yeah, it's above Wisconsin, uh, above Chicago. There we go. That weren't bad, was it? And you've got Milwaukee there. <laughs> <laughs> Milwaukee is uh, it, it's funny how, uh, I don't know if it's in Wayne's, Wayne's World, Milwaukee. What is the correct way to pronounce that, I wonder? Milwaukee. Um <laughs> Oh, Paul, you're on here. I'm glad you got back, okay? I bet your journey back was a lot better than it was here. 
No problems at all. And thank you for the flowers and, and the rum, Paul. <laughs> I got some rum again. I'm not drinking it tonight. I'm on normal, normal Pepsi. Although, look, Pepsi's gone back to the 80s. What's, what's with the logo? They've changed the logo back to the 80s logo. Well, that might be a little a different font, but the logo is the same. It isn't that bent one anymore. I'm telling you, we're going back to the 80s. Uh, it'd be good to see what you could do with that X-Wing, Paul, I have to say. Even if it's just uh, you're sticking in resin and bury it somewhere. It's, it's, it's how you use. <laughs> Perrin Williams, you've started the DB5. Um, uh, Reg, we'll take three at the weekend. I'll attempt to put spokes in the wrong hole on the second part easier. When I do mine, Perrin, I find that the first two rows of spokes is quite easy. It's that when you're flipping over and you do the next ones, because what you have to do is put one in, flip it over, and then just check that that one is going to hook over the larger of the uh, of the notches at the back rather than the smaller one. So many times I put them all in and realize they're only going over the small ones. So let's take them all out again. So, hello, brother. How's it going down on the South Coast there? How the devil are you? Um, could you 3D print the Liberator from Blake 7? The um, I've seen them on there, Adrian, but if you want to see a scratch build one, there's a there's a Facebook channel called I Am Ashton. I, I'm an Ashton. Something like that. I'm probably butchering the name. <coughs> At the last um, uh, model market that I was at in Haslock, there's a video online of it. I filmed it. Brilliant, brilliant ship he's done of that. He's actually doing Firefox at the moment. I've got to, I've got to find it. Hang on a second. I'm an Ashton. I'm an Ashton. Let's see if I can find it. I'm an Ashton. There you go. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope. <laughs> He's scratch built a Firefox. I'm going to find this damn thing. I'm telling you. Um, why can I not find it? It looks good. It looks good. It's on, it's on, it's on Facebook. Why can't I find it? <laughs> oh. No. It's just typical, isn't it? You watch after the stream, I'll be able to find it. Someone might be able to link it. I'm not the only person that follows him. <laughs> um, all good, Eric. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, bad wind as well. You know what? When Paul came in, the wind was almost blowing the fence down. I said to him, you'd be lucky if uh, you managed to get out of here with the Falcon in one piece. But it died down just enough to get the Falcon into the boot. It didn't really matter about the X-Wing. It was falling to bits anyways. <laughs> The stone is out there, I think. It's the rain. The rain was just relentless. And you know what? We had a little bit of that when I was in Bradford. As soon as I got to somewhere near Pontefract, it started to get sunshine. I thought it passed. But then we got further down the A1 towards Corby, and yeah, all hell broke loose. Need to lay off the beans and sprouts. Um, still got that shirt. You've still got this one, have you? I need to get some more... <coughs> designs done. I haven't updated that store for a long time. This shirt, I don't actually have the assets for it anymore. But from what I understand, if I get in touch with Teespring, they will give me the assets that I made for this. See, I'll be honest with you. When I first made this shirt, I thought it would be uh, completely and utterly uh, hammered down with copyright because it's all images that's been pulled from the internet. But mosaics don't get counted as that. I didn't realize that. And this is classed as a mosaic. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> um, thank you, Mark Paris. Well, look, it's good news that the phone hasn't beeped yet. But, I mean, I don't know how far. I think Epson from, um, where are they? They're in, in Greys in Lakeside. I'm guessing that's about an hour. So uh, we'll have to see. Stand by. What was that? Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Don't worry. A bit jumpy tonight, isn't I? <laughs> Where is the one for batteries not included? Bottom right underneath Metal Mickey by the bike down. You know what? Um, there's a guy called Dean Air. I met uh, Dean. Dean's a patriot. He was a patron. He's uh, I met him at uh, Telford this year. He did an absolute brilliant batteries not included robot. And he had used the magnets in the top. So you can actually see in it. 
uh, to bridge the connections with the power. So as soon as you put the top on, the whole thing lit up. Amazing. Amazing model. I did want to get some pictures and show you that, but we were only at Telford for about three hours, and I got limited footage because I was talking. I just talk for England sometimes. <laughs> so I was talking to everybody. I didn't hardly take anything. Now, this year, I'm going for two days. So I'm going to get some footage, and hopefully if I'm talking to people, I'm going to be recording it on these things. So we can actually uh, share that 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 uh, experience together. Uh, oh, you're talking, where's the robot for bat? He's not on here. I missed him out. Perhaps I should add him. Look, number five's on here. He's uh, he's down here. <laughs> Johnny Five. <laughs> oh. Bless. You know what? This workshop at the moment, it smells, it smells like this... Uh, have you ever seen that episode of Red Dwarf where um, Lister burns his um, camphor wood chest? It smells like a camphor wood in here because, like, when I made that pier, I've been using my laser engraver for this basswood. This is brilliant to cut with, I tell you. And uh, I can't get the smell out of here, even though the whole of the front of this workshop opens out. So when this was burning and smoke pouring out of it like it does, every window's open and both double doors. So theoretically, the whole one side of the workshop was open. But I've still got that burnt wood smell in here. I kind of like it. I think they should make a candle out of it. <laughs> you may need to make room for the Dalek. Well, look, the next episode of the Dalek, this is what we've done so far, just so you can see. The next episode of this should be, if uh, my sister-in-law can get it, which I'm hoping she can, should be she should be able to get it on Wednesday, which means hopefully I can pick it up on Friday. So there might be one next week, as long as they've got it in on Wednesday, because uh, issue two comes out two weeks from this one, and then it's weekly. Uh, I believe at the end of this four uh, trial, we're going to have the full eye stalk, and we're going to be able to test it as well. She'll be able to see the iris opening and closing on that. But uh, all good. But from what I understand from people who give me feedback, that they've definitely seen it in Essex. They've definitely seen it in Preston as well, of all places. So if anyone's near Preston, you might have some luck getting it from there. Uh, hello, Jost. How's it going? <laughs> I just got done watching your video on the Hashet Dalek. Um, I had no idea about trials. Once a model comes out of trial, are they typically completed or are they instances of cancellations? When it's a trial, um, is it Jose? There is only ever going to be four stages. They never plan to go beyond four stages. The, the 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 challenge is, are they ever going to release it as a full run? Now, most of the time with Hashet Partworks, they have released it as a full run. But everyone knows about the trial we did for the Hogwarts Express from Harry Potter. We never saw it again. It was a trial which we never saw again. Now, that's Hashet. It's very rare for Hashet to do a trial and it never be released. I think the Hogwarts was the, uh, the only one. But with Altea and Diagostini, they're doing trials all the time for stuff that we may or may not see. There's a there's a high ratio to stuff that we do a trial for, which we never see again. And then you do wonder, well, well where is that? Where, where That's been tooled somewhere. Where's the tooling for it? Who knows? But that stuff tends to come out in France. And the best person to watch for that, I haven't got his, uh, let me get his link because I want to give him a plug because he's a good guy. Uh, Chris Collection. Chris Collection's the guy who can normally get hold of the Diagostini um, um, and the Altair. Altair over there. His link in the chat. Check out Chris's collection, and you'll see some of the trials he's got over there. Um, he's been doing the Tim Burton Batmobile, the Michael Keaton Batmobile. How cool is that? Everyone's been looking for that, but uh, you'll see that on his channel on that link that I've just put there. Um, where am I? Sorry, I've just uh, because I, I typed something, it's gone whew, completely back. <laughs> Uh, where am I? Stand by. I, I've just realized I'm really far behind uh, um, chat. I'm sorry. Uh, I, is it because I knocked it? Oh. oh, hello. 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 It looks like it's okay. Is my microphone okay, peeps? I hope so. That's all right. Alexa, stop. Hello, I hope you like the little plugs I gave. The Escape for Printer mod is brilliant. I can't wait to print it. I want to get myself some clear resin first. Now, I'm holding off 
printing it because uh, I might be getting... <laughs> You ain't gonna believe this. I might be getting another resin printer. So I've got this one, which is my heated one. I'm gonna get one slightly smaller, but you're gonna love it when you see it. But uh, that's not coming till April. But you'll see that. I think that's what I'm because I, if I can have a machine which is solely dedicated to some of the clear prints and the clear resin that I want to use, that's what I want to experiment with. So, uh, but I absolutely love your. I love your models. I love your designs. You're very talented over there. Uh, the bridge was built before. I mean, it was built in the seventies, the wasn't it? From what I understand, Howard. Uh, got a notice that my DeLorean will be back on track. Looking forward to getting back to it. I've I've got the next pack of the DeLorean here, and you know what the next pack is, Eric. I've got to do those damn wires. Issue forty-eight. Oh, not looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> um well ian paul can only have a tour as i said of the workshop because i haven't got anything else in the house <laughs> oh the orca was on the side i don't know if you saw that paul that was on the windowsill in the lounge i should have pointed that out you never got any delay emails yeah the start of the week i just got delay email after delay email and then they all just suddenly turned up i don't know <laughs> wayne is special <laughs> you haven't had any either Will says fan home have been good. Oh, bless. They have been good. I mean, I, I'm waiting to get some. Normally, I get a, all my fan home deliveries at the beginning of the month. But uh, I have got things on the floor at the moment because I am running out of space again. Uh, Brett, your your aliens got one. Was that one head, one leg? <laughs> and, well, I've got, I've got, uh, what have I got here? Packs 12 and 13. So I've got them both here. So they're ready. I mean, I'm, that's the that's the whole thing. So I could finish Alien now, but uh, there is a bit to do because we're actually putting the electrics in and stuff. So um, I will try and get on that. I want to get this blooming Rossi bike finished. 19 stages and the Rossi bike's finished. So uh, there you go. Yeah, it's it's it's, uh, it's what they call it, Aladdin's Cave, Keith Shop. But you'll see in the video that I, I took a good 25 minutes of filming in there. I was on my knees filming things. <laughs> You got your pack to a Batmobile this afternoon. Wow. Mine's on the way, Steve. I haven't received it yet. If that comes, I'm going to have to try and fit that in next week as well. God, why is there only seven days in a week? Uh, if it wasn't for customer tax and other taxes for ordering uh, from outside the EU, I'd place a 12-month subscription. Do you have to pay? You have to pay taxes then. I get stung customs charges now and again. I think my last customs charge was like £55 I had to pay. Uh, is anyone who's missing or needs replacement parts for the Fan Home Enterprise Day? Get in touch with me. You've got a bunch of spares, have you, Will? <laughs> oh, bless. I've got two packs of that to do, and I believe the next one's on the way as well. Uh Oh, hello, Christian from Grantham. Wow, you're late tonight. Uh, you're late, and I'm really behind on chat. Uh, I can't do the jingle, can I? Because I haven't got the... I have got it. Look. Let's give it up big time. Hello, Christian from Grantham. Now let's get cracking. Did you know it was Christian's birthday a couple of days ago? Look, let's put that on the screen as well. It was Christian's birthday a couple of days ago. So happy birthday from a couple of days ago, Christian. <laughs> so what are the plans for the builds in the coming week? Rossi, DeLorean, Gordon, are you doing the Batmobile? You know what, Howard? I've got a, a whiteboard inside which keeps changing. So I have no idea yet. I've got to get that Titanic done. I need to get the Titanic done. You only live 20 miles from Bradford. I've never been to Bradford before. I got to see the stadium. I got to see Ellen Road at Leeds as well. So it's a, a new thing for me. Hello, uh, Nick. Cardio inversion. Is that what it's called? Cardio version. There we go. Cardio version. Yeah, that's what she's having done. Uh, you love the 2024 Spruverse challenge. It's going to be a challenge. But if he's going to submerge Bruce's head in clear resin, that would look great. Um, that's what Lou's doing. That's what Lou's doing. I think. Don't know. I don't know if he's putting it in. Uh... Thank you, uh, Russell. 
That's up to, I mean, that's what Lou's picture looked like. Either that or he's cutting the head off the shark. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Wayne, you're at work. You're you're at work on adding lights to your Lego DeLorean build. It's not as easy as like my Lego makes it. It should be coming to my channel in April. That'd be cool. I'll have to check that out. The uh, from what I understand, remember I showed you in Telford I, only a, a quick glimpse of inner lights. These are the people that actually light your models for you with addressable lights that you can actually program into a a phone or an iPad. You can operate the lights just for an iPad. From what I understand, he's going to be at uh, Wonderfest. He was recently at the last convention. At, uh, where did we go? Stamford for the IPMS show. I don't know the guy's name. I think it's Neil. I could be wrong. You have the same room. That room was ginormous. <laughs> oh, Steve. Steve, I'm going to try and get there on Saturday. We've got no plans from what I understand on Saturday. I will be um, heading off to the Colt TV man suite sometime in the night, but... From last year, I think I went to bed at three o'clock in the morning on that Saturday, full of beer, <laughs> lager. So uh, I don't know. It'll be fun. Uh, well, Ian Ian listed them all for £99, Riz. £99. What a steal. <laughs> don't forget Mark and Kevin. Yes, they were. They were like a QVC, I understand. I missed the stream. I didn't get to see the stream because obviously I was picking the kids up. But uh, that's all fun. Rob Jones, it's your brother's birthday. He's turned 28. Wow. You know what? I've got my brother over here. You know the guy that wrote the book that I was telling you? The, um, uh, the where is it? The, I haven't got the book on me. Have I got the thing? Stand by. Yeah, my brother, he wrote this book here, The Skirmishers. That's the link for Australia. That one there's for the USA. And that one there's for the UK. He's over in England. So you're. I, I think he might be popping on the stream next week or something. So you might you might see him, which could be interesting. Crazy man he is. <laughs> so funny, one of my brothers has gone to Australia. So two of my brothers normally were in Australia, but one's, you don't want to know. <laughs> They're all over the place at the moment. Did you manage to keep the Corvette C2 model you built? Uh, what was that one, Harry? The Corvette C2. Was that the metal one? Was that the metal thing I built? I can't remember. If it was, I've still got that one, I think. I will, Paul. I haven't actually opened the print because as soon as you left, I went straight in here to prepare for the live stream. So I will check that out after the stream. But thank you for that, Paul. It's definitely going on that ecliptic wall we've got. Yes, the Rootmaster bus went to uh, my mother-in-law. So my mother-in-law's got that in her house. You would have dropped some serious money, I know. But I... um. I, I just enjoy the build, and if I can make someone happy with the builds, then then I've done good. A good monk and smat is always helpful to clear the decks. <laughs> That's an interesting word. I'm going to use it in sentences more often. Monk and smat. <laughs> you got pack five. It's interesting these pack fives because they normally get them in Australia first. I, I think the folks in Australia still got them first, but. Uh, they uh, at least we're getting them, and I'm so glad that we got the uh, the first uh, pack of the uh, Wet Nelly, the Lotus Esprit. Love that metalwork. I'm telling you, it looks good. Have you looked at the Fistle on T5? There's a bus stop directly outside it, uh, and it's free to the travel zone. Uh, yeah, but how would I get from Heathrow to the hotel? Because I'm going to be getting a tube to Heathrow the night before, and I don't really want to get a taxi from Heathrow to a hotel. Unless I can pick a bus. Yeah, I'll have to have a check. I need to do my homework on that, I think, Steve. I, I Normally, I stay at a Heathrow Hotel or I drive there, but I'm not doing that this year. Uh, you're searching dioramas, builders, and come across nerd fours. The end products are good. I'll have to check that out. I've always, my, my go-to is, um, it used to be Luke Towen, uh, but now it's Kathy. Uh, let me look. Look, check this out. It's... Uh, I've got I've got a link, I think. I think I had a link. Yeah, Kathy Miller. Look, Kathy Miller, who was a judge on the Great Model Railway. I, uh, I've i been following her. As a matter of fact, one of the water effects that I was planning to do, I didn't realize I was watching her channel. <laughs> All good. Uh, uh, you're just after issue 106 of the Dodge Charger. That only goes up to 110, doesn't it, John? 
Has anyone got 106 of the Dodge Charger or a spare that can help John out? I've got no spares at all, John. But that must be near the end. I wonder what that is. Is that one of the back end sections? Hello, James. How the devil are you? Uh, Wayne, the DB5 back wheels are slightly different because they have got the tire slasher in the middle of them. I saw that. It's quite a big one as well, isn't it? Is that still like a magnet thing you put on? I haven't looked at the instructions, so I don't know. You've printed a Liberator, Paul. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, you missed the weather report because uh, it was hammering it down. And believe me, I don't, I don't know if my phone's water... water um... That's okay. We're good. I don't know if my phone's waterproof. <laughs> you watched the entire series of the new Netflix show's free body program. Never heard of it. I don't actually have Netflix, you know, uh, Wayne. I do want to watch the new Roadhouse movie with Jake Gyllenhaal on uh, Amazon Prime. I haven't seen that yet. I have my, if nobody can, part work pizza can. <laughs> Mug come today. <laughs> Oh, Ian, I'm telling you, you you've you made a brand without realizing you've made a brand. <laughs> it's all good. Does the Commando Elite count as a robot? Small Soldiers is a great movie. It was when it came out. God. And you know what I like most about Small Soldiers Wheels Workshop? It's got a Jerry Goldsmith, uh, Jerry Goldsmith score, musical score. Love a bit of Jerry Goldsmith, which is why I'm really glad that we get to meet Joe Dante at Wonderfest, because obviously a lot of his movies was scored by Jerry Goldsmith, who sadly isn't with us anymore. Brilliant composer. Um, how are you getting on with learning Blender? Very slowly at the moment. But you know what, John Mortimer, um, when I was speaking to Keith today, he was showing me a program called Design Spark. And you know what? The user interface on that looks way easier than Blender. So I might give that one a go. Design Spark, I think it was called. But, um, you know, in, in, in like a five-minute lesson he gave me, I picked up so much. So I am going to have a look at that. I think it's £10 a month, he said. Hello, scenic route. How the devil are you? <laughs> you imagine you're late. You're, you're only late by about, what time did you leave that message? For, am I really that far behind on chat? I'm sorry. You're late by 30 minutes. I will catch up. I will. No Daleks can be found in Harlow, Essex or Bishop Store for Hertfordshire. Why is that? What's that? I've seen I've seen a Dalek John Mortimer in uh, in Basildon though. <laughs> You'd love to build the Dalek if it gets released. I really do hope it does because the amount of like I'm just looking at the, the views it's had, there is interest for it. I don't know how much the license because the licensing. Remember, you need licensing for the BBC, and I'm guessing you'll need the Terry Nation licensing as well. But you know, if anyone can, hash it can. <laughs> Are the Ferrari kits the same? Agora and Satoria both have done a La Ferrari 250 GTR. Are these companies linked? They're not linked, uh, but I do know that some of the products that we've seen with Diagosti in the past, I believe the La Ferrari is now with Agora models. It's just changed hands. They're not linked. The companies aren't linked, though. Uh, talking to your wife, they went, ah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Anthony Oates, African bungle fan. Every time I see your name, Anthony, I'll tell you, smile on my face. You just ordered three Ming models. Really, two order. Now, the order foxes I was looking at, they look really good, don't they? And Harvester from Dune. Yeah, the order. Isn't there two sizes of the order foxes, though? Straighten him out, Esther. She will. I've hardly seen Esther today as well, Will. So when I'm in the house, I'll be the first time I've seen her today. Bless her. Will I do the Mad Max car model? I, I will, but I, I think when it comes out, because I think they're advertising it in the States at the moment, Scotland 37, it's uh, it's not got any Mad Max branding. I think it's just called the Interceptor. So it'd be interesting to see if they put any stills for Mad Max in the magazines. But uh, we'll have to see on that one. It has done the trial in this country as well, I believe, but uh, I know I never got to see where it was. Um, everyone's wishing Christian a happy birthday. <laughs> I haven't, Ian, I haven't even ordered them yet. I need to. I need to order them because I'm needing I'm needing quite a few sizes. I did get some rope. I wanted something that's the size of string but looks like rope. It doesn't look like string, and I found some. And it came today, and it looks brilliant. So that's what I needed. 
But uh, believe me, there's going to be a shopping list for stuff for this because the shark's just over here at the moment. The shark, believe it or not, is the last thing I'm building. It, the whole diorama is the first thing I'm building. So, uh, yeah. His name's Andy. I thought it was Neil. Andy, right, okay. I have to remember Andy. It's my brother's name, so it's not going to be hard to forget. Excellent. In a light, though. I enjoyed the new Ghostbusters movie. I thought it was a bit slow to start off with, but then it found its feet. So, yeah, I did enjoy it. I liked the, um, there was an after, a mid credit scene. There's a mid credit scene as well. You're going to use his lighting system. I mean, I saw him originally at Telford, and then he was at, uh, I said, this IPMS show that I was at. So, uh, you know, he's trying to get the word out there, and I really do think he's going to hit it off at Wonderfest. I think a lot of people would be impressed with what he's got to show. You didn't get back till 3 a.m. either. It was a late night that night because because Esther had gone to bed by about 11 o'clock, I think. And I was still up with you guys. And then I, I went to Colt TV. <laughs> yeah, that Saturday night. Yeah. God, I was feeling that on Sunday. I'll tell you. Um, <laughs> the Dalek build. I know Lou and Phil are going to take my money. <laughs> That comes to the USA. It'd be interesting. We'll have to see. Um, I'm scrolling down. If you need a ride from the airport, Choto, I will do. No problems. I know that, see, we're going to be landing in Louisville at 10 o'clock in the evening. I still think the, shuttle, the, the hotel will offer a shuttle. But um, we'll have to swap numbers. I think I've got Todd's number still. I don't think I've got yours, Steve. So we'll swap numbers and we'll uh, we'll sort something out. Uh, but I don't leave till like, well, the flight leaves at two o'clock on Monday. So I suppose I've got to be at the airport for 11 or something. I don't know. I figured out when I'm there. Um, oh, it's pin in the back wheel hub. Is it? Oh, interesting. I need to look at those instructions now. Then I think, uh, I'm getting there. Hello, Shara Jones. Hope your family gets well and back home soon. Me too. I mean, look, I've had no texts and no no news is good news. So uh, I'll just double check in to see if uh, he's probably gone to bed, to be honest with you. He's had a really, uh, oh, he was online at half eight. So that's good. So uh, I'll give him a ring after the stream and hopefully I'll find out exactly because I haven't spoken to him. I've only spoken to his mum. So I'm hoping he's had a good day. Oh, all, <laughs> all, all things considered. <laughs> I'm just hoping he went on a ride before it hit. So you don't go to Chessington and not even get on one ride. Not good. Um, I read a story today that Russell T. Davis was saying that they sold the rights to Disney as well because he doesn't believe there's much of a future for BBC now. So they wanted to protect the brand. I don't know if there's any truth in that. But interesting. Um. Wayne, what's your favourite chocolate Easter egg? I always like uh, I always like Galaxy or Cadbury's. Anything ga Galaxy and Cadbury's, and I do like a, a cream egg. I'm one of these people that just stick it straight in. <laughs> Don't bite the top off; just stick it straight in. That's the one, Wayne. That's the one I meant. I think, um, yeah, Meng was releasing a big ornithopter, aren't they? You've pre-ordered one. Is that not out yet? Now I, I didn't know if it was out. I saw the smaller one, but I, I naturally assumed that they had released the big one at the same time. So that's good. Hello, Ramon. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, you had Terry's chocolate orange bar today. I can't have chocolate orange in this house, Adrian, because it starts fights. Mrs. Welder Wayne's favorite chocolate of all time is Terry's chocolate orange. And if there's one in the house, uh, yeah, there's a fight. Take care, brother. I'll see you later, mate. I will. I, I need to call you and uh, I, I arrange a time to come down and say hi because I want to get to the South Coast. I ain't been there in over a year now and I... Uh, I feel bad. I really do need to get down there. But take care, mate. Uh, Wayne, when are you and Esther coming to New York City? I was looking at Easter next year, so it'll be a whole year away, Ramon. But um, as long as, like, you know, everything slips into place, that's what we want to do. Uh, you did some finger painting. Took me eight hours to paint the door frame. <laughs> Uh, it's that that 172 13 inches long sorry we don't we don't go by inches here wayne we go by wayne heads wow we're looking at one and a half times my head perhaps a bit more <laughs> take care Hilda. see you later mate geordie gaming channel how's it going 
Hey, Wayne, Gavin here. Ordered the glue uh, for the Zero. Uh, got one of those headsets. The, the headsets are good. The glue, the glue. if you've got the Gorilla Glue, that's fine as well. These are invaluable. I don't know where I'd be without these. You know what? Doing that DeLorean issue 48 without these, because the first time I did that without these, this year, I'm thinking I'm going to make it really easy because I think that's going to make my life a hell of a lot easier. We'll have to see because I've got that to come. Cult TV, TV man's taking orders for that. So when did, Wayne, have you got a date for when that's released? Because could I pick that up at Wonderfest? That's the end of May? Yeah, Wonderfest is uh, the end of May. May I arrived May 30th, so it would be June the 1st and 2nd, I believe, Wonderfest is. Take care, Paul Reynolds. BBC's looking at the fee, are they? I knew there was something going on about that. Crazy stuff. Take care, John Hay. I think we've come to that time of night, haven't we? You've got the Gorilla Glue, like you said. Now, the Gorilla Glue Geordie Gaming Channel is slightly thick, okay? So my recommendation for you is that when you're using it, rub off as much glue as you possibly can so that you can still get uh, some precision when you're putting it on. Now, the glue you're getting as well doesn't... I mean, I haven't got one here, but basically, if it looks like that, when you open this up, you've got a brush, but you can open just the top section of it as well and have it like a traditional glue uh, thing. But... Uh, I haven't got it because I'm using this stuff here, which is from the range. This is slightly thinner, you find. So uh, all good. But listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there tonight, so I can uh, ring my son and find out how he is. I hope you've enjoyed that stream tonight. You certainly cheered me up, so I'm happy. Uh, it was great meeting everyone that I met today as well. So thank you for visiting me, Paul. And um, uh, it's, uh, it's been great meeting you all as well, Paul and uh, Keith and everybody over in Bradford. So uh, it's all been good. But uh, listen, take care of yourselves, everybody, and I will see you next week. Uh, tomorrow on the channel, I believe we will be doing this Lancaster Bomber. Okay, <laughs> take care. See you later.